One, two, three, four. B L. And then he stepped backwards and he squashed a slug with his bare foot and just like exploded everywhere. It was so cool. So gross. I'm trying to eat breakfast. No, you're not. I'm just staring at it. What are you, nervous? No, I'm not. Jeez, you're such a brat. Mom, can I have Sarah's milkshake? She's not hungry. I remember the day I got sorted. I didn't sleep a wink, and I only managed half a shake before I threw up everywhere. Did you know? You know where you'd be placed? Well, no, I wasn't sure. But then I wasn't surprised either. The quiz is very accurate. I wish I knew what was on it. Well, if you knew, it wouldn't be fair now, would it? You nervous? God, I was. I only managed half a shake before I puked everywhere. <laughs> That's what makes us Monica's, I guess. Very highly strung. I can't believe our little girl's finally gonna find out which of the friends from friends she is. I've got a pretty good guess. Yeah, everyone knows she's gonna be a Gunther. Oliver, take that back. I'm just kidding. We'll be there for you, kiddo. However you get sorted. Cause you're there for us too. That's how it works. <laughs> I'll be there for you, Sarah. I'll be there for you, Alex. Have you studied? Man, I don't know what I'd do if I hadn't studied. Everyone knows you can't study, you liar. Aren't you nervous? Are you kidding me? Could I be any more of a Phoebe? Can you stop messing around? The Rachel is coming? You are such a Ross. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. For many years, our society lived in conflict and strife. Life was hard. Our jobs were a joke. We were broke. And a nuclear holocaust wiped out most of humanity. But we finally came to the fundamental truth that every member of society fits snugly into one of six types. The Monicas. Practical and nurturing. The Rosses, scientific yet lovable. The Phoebes, <laughs> such creative forces. The Chandlers, oh, just the funniest. Ooh. The Joeys. How you doing? <laughs> loyal and charming. And of course, the Rachels. Natural born leaders with a flair for fashion. They were all so different but they somehow all worked so well together, despite their differences, because they were friends. Today is a very special day when our bright young people are given their futures. So, let us begin, shall we? Gunthers, please prepare the quiz. Anything for you, the Rachel. Okay, you know what, that's gross. Please just do your job. So can I still go or what? Uh, 
I just like taking tests. You're such a rock! There must be a glitch in the system. The system is foolproof. The Rosses have gone over the quiz time and time. What if she picked a set of answers no one's ever picked before? <laughs> okay, that's about as likely as a Gunther ending up with a Rachel, am I right? <laughs> she could be a Carrie, why not? A Sex in the City character in the Friends universe? They're two totally different New Yorks. We had a Mad About You crossover. This is not Mad About You, okay? Now our entire system of government is predicated on people knowing which one of the friends from Friends they are. Do you guys want to go back to when times were bad, huh? When we weren't there for each other, when the rain started to fall? Is that what you want? Because that's what you're, don't touch me! Yeah, if we let her be a carry, we might as well tell everybody about the other quizzes. There are other quizzes? Ross and Rachel, just because you guys are each other's lobsters, you think you can walk all over the rest of us? Yeah, this is supposed to be an ensemble. And if anyone knows that, it's us Joeys. I mean, we just don't work on our own. God knows we tried. Why don't we just make her a stupid Gunther and be done with it, okay? Yeah, obviously, because it doesn't work Excuse me! There are other quizzes? <laughs> uh, if there were other quizzes, they would be meaningless. Not even worth mentioning. Caesar! Hello, Gunther, I'm talking to you. Caesar! Come with me if you want to live. Wait, aren't you the downstairs neighbor who was complaining about all the noise from friends? Used to be, not anymore. Now I'm the, the rock. Welcome to the resistance. Be the rock? Really? You don't see it? I mean, you know, it's just that you made a Terminator reference earlier, so I figured you'd be Schwarzenegger or something. Come with me, there's some people I want you to meet. We all took the which friends from friends are you quiz. First, we lived as everyone else did, but with a tiny voice in our head saying something wasn't right, until we realized our true selves. I used to be a Ross. It seems so ridiculous now. We don't know how you did it, Sarah, but you beat it. You beat the quiz. It's a miracle. But how do you know you were who you are? It's a Motorola. Got mine at Radio Shack. We're helping the people we can. It's just that there's so few of these quiz machines left. It's a painfully slow process. It's also a pain in the ass. We've been trying to find a way to do it manually, but we haven't been able to figure anything out. Does anyone have a notepad and some colored markers? Well, it seems this little Monica's upstart daughter has ideas above her station. Well, there's only one form of punishment fit for this kind of treachery. But it seems Sarah is hiding away. Well, it seems almost unfair that no one should suffer. Bring out the turkey of shame. Sarah, save yourself. I'll always be there for you. Sarah, you have the power to end this. Just bring back the laptop and everything will go back to normal. keeping something from us, something we all deserve to know. There are more quizzes! Don't listen to her, she's, she's stuck in second gear! On oh, my mark, get ready to drop your truth bombs. Ma! What is it? What are those? It's the other quizzes. Don't, don't look at those! Oh my god, I'm a Frasier. I'm a Frasier! I'm a Posh Spice. I always felt it, but now I know. Yeah, definitely still a Ross. <sighs> oh. Why are you doing this, Sarah? I thought you were my lobster. I might be your lobster, but you're not my Mr. Big. Can I at least be your pita? No. You're my Gail. I love you, but we're just not destined to be together. Oh, spoiler alert! No, please! Please, no! I'll get you anything! I'll get you anything! 
give you my Central Perk apron. I'll give you my Calvin Klein jeans. I, I, I'll give you my hair straighteners, please. I just don't want to die. Do I look like I need hair straighteners? <gasps> we are not friends anymore. <laughs> As the world as we knew it stood in ashes around us, I asked myself some fundamental questions. If anyone can be anything, does knowing what you are still have worth? Does friendship mean anything if you're forced into it? And would I look cute as a blonde? Seems like we're all